Right, evening everyone. Um, I think you wouldn't have thought IAD would be here, but um, what you might say is an unnecessary evil. It's part of your business, but you said that, I didn't say that. But Right, so with um, IAD, um, to speak for 10 minutes is um, quite foreign to us, so I hope the timekeeper's keeping an eye on me. Right, so all I can sort of say to you this evening is about our tech seminars and workshops, which are free. There is cards out the front that you're welcome to take and download from the website when they're available and where they are. And also I'm going to tell you about some tools on our website that, like any website, um, you know how to find it, but quite often you may not know how to navigate. So this is our website. Now on the website it has a number of places we can find information, obviously. So one that I'd like to promote tonight is down the bottom here is Inland Revenue Secure Online Services. Now that is a feature of our website going forward where a lot of more user friendly functions will be made available. Now who rings up contact centres and always says afterwards they take far too long to answer and they're very frustrating. So if we can find a better way for you to get your information, either you lock it up in your own secure account or send us an email and we respond to that email through the secure online service, that's going to make things quicker and easier for you. So it's not only online revenues contact centre there's issues with, I have trouble with um, um, Sky and all sorts in New Zealand, so don't always say ID sucks. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, um, what my point is use that secure online service if it's going to help save time for you and your business. So, out the front, I've left these handouts. Now, they talk about what's available on the secure online services, etc, etc. Um, using the website as well, you can file a number of your tax returns electronically. So I think that's the way people want to go nowadays, is not send things in the mail and it takes quite a while for it to be processed. They'd rather they send it electronically and get a reasonable answer of what they may owe. Now, moving past the ID website, a big thing when you're in business is the word budgeting. Now, um, a talk from a accounting professor to inland revenue staff, the first thing he said to us, if you knew what the business community, what priority they placed on tax, paperwork, and um, filling out forms, etc., he said, it's that. You may think they think about tax as that, but in our survey, inland revenue was at the bottom of priorities. So that sort of gave us as staff a wake-up call in the real world, people are not thinking in big chunks about IRD, they think about making money, enjoying their work, as one of the speakers has already said. But at the end of the day, that little um, component of your business, um, we would like to think should be a wee bit bigger at times. Um, so that's just a story from a accounting professor telling us what business people think about taxes. But don't 
um, get the conversation or we'll be here a while. Um, so budgeting, um, just as a ballpark figure, I would say start off as 25% of what you're earning or what your profit figure is and put that aside in a separate bank account. Now, if you don't do that, you can come unstuck when you get tax bills from us. Now, even if that 25% money is sitting there for some time, you can make interest on that. So don't leave it in a working account. Make sure it's in a savings account or an investment account that's going to earn some more money for you. So the thing is, in business, make sure you budget for taxes, ACC. If you've got a student loan, that's more um, accountability of money you may owe. So that's the big word, and hopefully out of tonight, that's one word you're going to remember that I've said, budgeting. Now, on the ID website, there's quite a new tool called Tools for Business. This product was produced by a business company in Christchurch, so it's not written by ID staff. Obviously, we had input. But if you want to find that tool on our website, in the keyword search, you put TFB, the abbreviation for Tools for Business. And that will come up. And a lot of people, Generation Y, etc., like to learn off screens. They don't like to read books. So that is an alternative for learning about taxes. So that's available um, for you to read. It's got downloads, etc. in it. So it's a useful product when you're in business. Um, getting back to I said we have free workshop seminars all around New Zealand. They're generic, so if you go to one in Cargill, the same content would be the same as one if you went in Wellington. Obviously, they may have little differences in Invercargill to Wellington, but the general focus will be the same if you went in another district. Now, a lot of people think, gosh, we're getting something free. Now, whenever you heard the word free, some people's ears prick up. So make sure you make use of the free seminars and workshops we hold. And I'll just quickly tell you what the content of some of them are. The basic one is called Introduction to Business. So as the word says, people starting out in business, what do they need to know about taxes? So that's your first one. The next one you were, may wish to go to is called the EGST workshop. And just briefly about GST, the threshold over a 12-month period, which is based on turnover, money coming in to you, is $60,000. So if you are receiving more turnover than 60000 you must be GST registered. But if you need to know more about GST, how to do a cash book, how to file electronically, that's the workshop to go to. There's an employer's workshop. Now, that workshop talks about POYE, how to fill out the employer's forms. In Wellington, we bring the Department of Labour in. They talk about holidays, pay, Holidays Act, um, working on a stat holiday, all that information you do need to know when you're employing staff. So that could be something that you're interested in. So that's the end of my presentation.